Welcome to the Green Yards, home to the Southern Lights. I've come down to catch up with Ewan McLaren, who has been around the world playing rugby. From Dubai to Dollar, out to Hong Kong and back again, it's safe to say the tight head prop has had some journey so far. So my name is Ewan McLaren and I play tight head prop probably a little bit of a different kind of background. So I actually moved out to Dubai when I was uh, six years old and uh, that's actually where I started playing rugby. So I was there until I was probably about 16. Um, and yeah, just playing there for a club called Dubai Exiles and being around, around the Dubai Sevens as well. was just probably the highlights for me and seeing that kind of rugby as well, like the internationals coming through. And then eventually I moved to Dollar Academy up in uh, Clackmannanshire and I had two like really good years there as well. After my two years at Dollar, I played uh, the under 18s and I think my second year actually I captained under 18s as well. Um, and then straight out of school went to the Glasgow Academy on a stage three, um, where I was there for three years. I had quite a tough time with injuries throughout most of it, um, but my second year, I had that was my under 20s year, playing with Air as well at the time. And that was the year I think we won the double with Air. So it was quite, quite a successful year in terms of you know, winning things and uh, also for myself playing on the 20s, so. And then you went out to Hong Kong. How did that come about and what was that experience like? Yeah, so Hong Kong, that, that just came around really in the early stages of COVID. Um, so I knew my time was up at Glasgow and I was just looking for a kind of place to go. Um, and at that time, everything kicking off, wasn't so sure and uh, Hong Kong seemed to have the virus under control. Put some feelers out there to see, see what was happening and uh, yeah, it came about, unfortunately, when I was there, COVID kind of hit off again and then didn't actually play as much rugby as I wanted to. So I ended up doing a bit of part-time teaching and um, but put it down to like a really good life experience, so. How happy are you to be back and playing for the Southern Knights and be back playing rugby in Scotland? Yeah. How's that experience been for you so far? Yeah, it's been great. I mean, uh, you know, when I went out to Hong Kong, I knew it wasn't going to be a long-term thing. So when I was out there, um, you know, and there was an opportunity to come back, kind of snapped it up. Uh, and then looking at Southern Knights, um, you know, and the, you know, connected with the club as Melrose and the success they had in the Premiership, it seemed like a really good fit. And um, Bob's been great and uh, get me back and, and get me settled in. So, yeah, I couldn't really be happier to be honest where, where I am. So we started back in I think it was March, end of March for our pre-season training, and that was when we kind of got the, the local guys in, and then eventually the Edinburgh boys came and joined us, guys who live you know a bit further afield, um, and just having that kind of group of players and, and your friends around um, through like a sporting environment it was just it made a massive difference you know mentally and uh, yeah it's just it's really good for, for socially and things like that so of course phys physically as well mm -hmm. so yeah I would just say that you know it's a great opportunity to get to meet new people and things like that as well. Four games into the this season's Falls Rock Super 6 what have you made of the start of your campaign so far? I think right now, you know, we're feeling like we're sitting in a good place, uh, albeit our performances have been a bit up and down. Um, we definitely feel like we can we can give more. I mean, know it's you know it's a bit of a shorter season, but the games are going to be kind of back to back. I think we've got one week off, um, so we're going to make most most of that and uh, really try and push to get some get some good success this season. Mm -hmm. And as you said, it's a shorter season. It's a, a summer season. How's that? impacted the style of rugby do you think are you enjoying playing rugby in the summer yeah it's really good uh, especially because we've got the the 4g here as well i mean it's we're trying to play a really fast fast um, style of rugby um so yeah it's great i mean playing in the mud and the rains uh you know it's not always nice but um yeah playing in the summer is it's good mm -hmm. and then so looking ahead to the next match we've got Watsonians in Edinburgh at Myerside on Friday night. Two sides going going well in fine form. What kind of challenge do you expect from them? Yeah, so, so just looking at them, we know that they've got a really good pack and they've got some dangerous backs as well. But uh, we feel that you know if we can kind of settle into our own game and, and really stick to our structure, that we feel that we can we can take it to them. Uh, we know it's going to be a tough place to go, and we'll have a good support there as well. So. Yeah, you know, really looking forward to the challenge. But like I said, we just want to stick to our, our game plan and, and really focus on ourselves and uh, hope we get some success from it. Mm -hmm.